Hi everybody, it's Maya and today we are going to be going over some of my top blushes for the fall time. I am super excited for this video because as you all know, I love blush. I think a lot of people's favorite makeup product is blush, especially 2021. You know, everyone's been getting into blush and I'm all for it. I love blush. It's the one makeup product that I cannot go without no matter what. If I wasn't wearing makeup for the day, I would pick blush because it is so versatile. You could wear it on your cheeks, you could wear it on your eyes, you could put it on your lips. Like you can just create a whole look with just blush and it is really amazing. So yes, in today's video, like I mentioned, we are going to be going over some of my favorites. I have cream blushes, liquid blushes, and powder. and. I'm going to be going through all the categories and naming my top, showing you guys my favorite blushes from those categories. I'm going to be applying one from each category onto my face because I don't know if y'all noticed, I don't got no blush on. I did my whole face, got the eyes, got the skin, lips, but I'm not wearing blush. I will have everything that I used in my face linked down in the description because I think my base looks flawless today. I don't know if you can see that glow. I'm not wearing any highlight, but I used another product, the Kosas Tinted Face Oil for the first time in a long time, and I'm obsessed. I forgot it existed, and it just looked so amazing on my face right now. I wasn't even gonna film today. I'll just talk to you while I'm trying to do my hair. I wasn't even going to film today because I came home from work and there was construction right outside my window and unfortunately it's going to be happening for the next couple of months just because they are building a house next door and my window is right next to the freaking lot so I get the most noise. That looks a lot better. What do you guys think? But yeah, so I, I really didn't want to film because... I was really pissed off by that, but you know, I took a nap. I'm awake now and the construction guys are gone, so things worked out for the best. So yeah, so we're just gonna jump right into it. My top favorite liquid blushes for the fall are gonna be these ones. I guess the first one we're gonna jump into is gonna be the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks first. And it is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. So this blush, the Glossier Cloud Paint, is was one of my very first blushes actually. Um, not the shade specifically, but it was the, one of the more pink shades and I fell in love with blush from this product mostly because this product is liquid it's super easy to work with you don't really need a lot and it just goes a long way on your cheeks as you can see you just squirt out the tiniest amount and then you can just blend it and it just is pigmented like it's not like a super high pigment but it's enough to where you know you don't need a lot at all yeah I've had this blush forever I love it a lot um for me on my skin tone, personally, it works for me as a bronzer, so that's where I use that's how I usually like to wear it as a bronzer. But in the fall time, it just looks really, really beautiful as a nice fall color. You know, it's very neutral. It's just so pretty. The next liquid blush. Now I'm not really gonna be trying these ones on, but I will be swatching them as well as talking about them. It's another cloud paint by Glossier and this one is in the shade Haze. It is a pretty berry tone. I usually don't like to wear this blush on its own because it's super deep and yeah but it blends out really pretty and it just leaves a nice little berry stain. It also looks super cute on the lips and that's why I love the cloud paint formulas because you can wear them on your cheeks and your lips. But yeah, they have a bunch of different colors. They all range and they could add more in my opinion, but you can always mix them to make your own personal shades, which is why I love them. Next liquid blush is more of a, it's kind of like to work with this, you kind of need to be very careful. And this is the 
Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid sheet color in the shade Glamour. I don't know why, but I love this packaging. I think it looks so cute. And I don't know, I just think it's aesthetic to like sit on your makeup counter. The thing with this though is you have to shake it before each use and it is super, super pigmented. This looks like a small bottle, I know, but it carries pigment. One drop will get you both sides of your cheeks. You don't need no more than one drop. Even that is like too much. It's crazy. But it is a really, really pretty fall color. I will show y'all. See, I didn't even squeeze the freaking thing. This is the color. It's like a warm terracotta y orange shade. And just watch that blend. Like, it just keeps going. And it literally just keeps going and getting more pigmented. Like, it's. Don't be like turned off by that. It does dry down very quickly though. It almost goes like from an oil to just a stain. Like this is completely dried down. Um, when you put it onto your cheeks, it, there is a lot of time to play with it before it dries down. But once it does set down, it does set down. It's not going to, you know, remain on your cheeks and just look oily and slide off like i feel like some people with oily skin i have combo skin more leaning towards oily but i was also kind of nervous with this thinking that it was just gonna slide everywhere and that it was just gonna make me look even more oily and just gross but no it is super pretty and i would wear it today but it is so pigmented and i'm trying to layer two more blushes on top so I wasn't using it for that specific reason. So the next liquid blush is going to be Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Grace. This is what that looks like. I love the Rare Beauty packaging. This shade is so, so pretty. It's almost like a purpley kind of magenta color but blended out onto the cheeks. It just screams fall to me and it also spring, screams spring. Also with this, they're super pigmented, they dry down matte, but you see how blending it out, it does get more sheer, but that shade to me, like it is probably the least fall of the bunch, but I remember last year I was wearing this a lot in the fall time. If I wanted to wear like pink makeup, because this isn't like true pink, it's more of a deeper purpley kind of color. So to me, that was more fall toned. And then the last liquid blush, this is actually, they say it's a cream blush. I'm arguing that it's liquid because it comes in a squeezy tube and you squeeze it out rather than it being in a palette where you pick it up with a brush. It's the Morphe Cream Blush and this one is in the shade Verified. I am obsessed with this. It is really, really sheer and it smells like, it smells amazing. But yeah, it's really sheer, but it looks really beautiful on the cheeks. I would wear it today as well, but when I wear this blush, I like it to be almost like a standalone. So I'm going to squeeze them back on the back of my hand. And it's like a muted orange color. I think it is so pretty. And you can just see how sheer that is. It almost reminds me of like pumpkin in a way. And... Yeah, it is so pretty, especially in the fall time. I would love to pick up more shades in this formula because it is truly unique to my collection. It's like liquidy, but sheer. And all the liquid blushes that I own are super high pigment. So it's nice to have something that's more sheer. It does make your cheeks look very dewy as well. So if you're into that like I am, you would love this. Next, we're moving on to cream blushes, which... I have a lot of cream blushes here to show you guys. The first one, which is going to be the one that I wear on my cheeks today, is the Undone Beauty Cream or Lip to Cheek Palette, and this is in the shade Rosewood. And Rosewood is so beautiful. It, again, is just a really classic fall color. I love this tone for the fall time. Swatch it for you guys, just right here super pigmented you can wear it on your lips or your cheeks i love the formula for either of them the great thing about these undone beauty blushes is that you see how there's three layers here so it goes sheer medium and then full coverage so depending on what kind of pigment you're going for 
you could dip in to whichever one you want but i love this blush super super affordable and then beauty is more of a drugstore brand so if you're looking for a more affordable brand um, that carries really amazing products check out and beauty but now i'm just going to apply this to my cheeks my dog is whining i'm sorry and a little goes a long way as well this shade is just slightly deeper than the last and a little bit more rosy i guess but i just think it's so beautiful i typically don't wear this shade unless it's in the fall time or i can even get away with it as a bronzer depending on what else like what other colors i'm wearing with it but it just looks really really beautiful really pigmented and i love i just love the shade love the formula love everything about undone beauty blushes but going off of undone beauty i also have two other shades here so i have a bunch of shades by them but these are also some more flawed all shades so you have blazing which is a vibrant orange i sometimes am scared of this color itself but it is just a true like orange color also a little bit corally so it does work really well in the summer as well but just with a little dab of this it can really like make your fall look even more orangey and also on the lips it looks really really pretty and then the last undone beauty cheek palette that i have is in the shade berry you know i wore this all last year and two years ago it was my classic fall blush that i went to you know it's a berry tone and it's really really pretty also looks really pretty on the lips as well but yeah i love these blushes they have a bunch of colors in these these are just the three that i picked out for the video but I do have a lot more and I love them all but next I want to talk about Tower 28 so I have two blushes by Tower 28 and I have the shades Beach Please and then Magic Hour Beach Please is more of a nude color this I put this as an option so if you are someone who's like not really into colorful blushes but you still want a nice fall blush this is really pretty and like nude the um tower 28 blush formula as well is really really creamy and really easy to work with that is the color and it's just super natural and it can work really in the spring or the fall time but it is really pretty i always seem to pass this up for some reason but I think I'm really gonna get some more use out of it this season. And then the other shade, which is After Hours, is going to be another rich berry tone. I love these formulas. I also wear them on my lips and my cheeks as well. But yeah, I will swatch the Undone Beauty Berry blush next After Hours just to do a side by side since they both seem to be berry toned. Yeah, this is after hours so it's more of a red and that is the undone beauty berry so if you are someone who's like torn between the two or just wanted to see what they look like side by side there you go i think i like after hours a little bit more because it's not as purpley but they still are really pretty moving on to milani i only have one cream blush by them and this is the shade name ripped off but i will put it up on the screen when i have it but yeah it's just another berry tone color swatch it's more muted than the other two but yeah i think it's really cute as well i love these milani formulas and also another really great cheap option if you're looking for a nice fall blush that's a cream formula i think these are cheaper than the undone beauty blushes i could be wrong but you know milani is a well-known drugstore brand undone beauty is sold in ulta but they still have like similar prices and sticking with milani i guess i will pull out the supercharged cheek and lip multi-stick this is in the shade spice jolt and it is kind of like a true pumpkin spice shade almost 
just want you here. I do have a bunch of videos using this already. It is truly a pumpkin spice shade in my opinion, but I will apply it on my lips because it is a cheek and lipstick. The formula is really, really creamy. I prefer it as a lip color more than a cheek color, only because on the cheeks when you apply it, it does seem to fade away. You kind of have to keep reapplying it to really make the pigment show. But yeah, it's also a really good option if you are looking for a stick or a multi-stick, anything of that. This is a really good option, especially for the fall, and it's a really pretty lip color. Next for a more exotic shade, I have the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Drama Class, and it is, you guessed it, a super purple blush. Um, I bought this because I've never seen a purple blush before, but on the cheeks it is actually very, very pretty. It's not purple, like straight up purple. It does have a tint of purple, it's like a very cool toned blush. It is really unique, um, I'll swatch it my wrist right there it's obviously going to look purple blend it out i'll try to blend it it's really hard to show not on my cheeks but i'm not trying to wear purple blush today it would look different on your cheeks but it's very similar to the rare beauty grace side by side they both kind of have the same kind of look to them and blend it out on the cheeks they both kind of look the same so that's just another option for a more like purpley pink color and the last cream blush we have in this for this category is going to be the rare beauty melting blush in the shade nearly mauve the shade is again more of a neutrally shade kind of like well it's mauve you know i love this formula too all these cream blushes feel very similar i mean they're creams this one is more natural like it's more of a natural blush and if you are someone who doesn't want to wear like purples or oranges or berries then a mauve is a really good option and this formula is really pretty i love these i just love this it's so cute last category is going to be powder and i'm just going to start off with this super old blush that I have been obsessed with for like the past two and a half years. It is the Pixie Fresh Face Blush in the shade Beach Rose. And I usually use this as like a bronzer, but in the fall time it looks stunning as a blush. I love it. It is just a rosy, neutral kind of color and the formula. I love it. It is so sheer. My swatches are just going on top of each other. But it is definitely super neutral and I'm going to finish off my cheeks with this and it is really pigmented. So yeah, this will definitely tone down any of that shine and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it as bronzer as well because that's what I used to do. I didn't powder my cheeks, I powdered the rest of my face. But not my cheeks but this will help set them since you know, it's a powder but i love this so much i kind of forgot about it for a little while but wearing it back on my cheeks i'm like missing it again so two more blushes to go another one that i have is by pyt and this specific packaging is not available on my website anymore but this blush still exists it's just it looks different um, it is Beauty Without the BS, and it's in the shade Flirty. PYT still has the shade Flirty on their website. It just doesn't look like this because they changed their packaging, and I love this blush. It is, yet again, another like mauve berry kind of shade, and it is <laughs> super pigmented. It's definitely buildable. It's not pigmented at the back, but you can build it up. And I just love this shade a lot. I don't know. I have a video. My PYT full face video. I use this. Stunning. I love the formula. It just makes your cheeks look really smooth. Filming this video has made me realize that I do not own enough powder blushes. I do have a lot. But they're all pink. 
and they're all Hassel and Lake Free Spring, but I don't really have a lot of them for fall specifically. But the last one is by Milani and it is Coco Felicita Baked Powder Blush. You've seen it in my last videos. I have this a lot. It is just a super deep, almost cocoa powder kind of blush. And on my skin tone, it is very dark. But with one little dot in that, in the thing, and just using it on both cheeks, in my eyelids, on my nose, I can get away with it. But this is definitely for people with not my skin tone. But it is just a rich chocolatey color and it is so pigmented these baked blushes hold a lot of pigments in them but i wanted something for the fall that was gonna make my cheeks look nice and dark i guess i don't know i really like dark cheeks in the fall time but yeah that was it for today's video now my face looks more complete with the blush on it i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favorite blushes in each category i always wanted to do like a blush kind of video but I don't know, I always thought, like I wanted to do cheek swatches of every single blush that I showed today, but that would be a lot of work and that would be like days in the making. Maybe in the future I'll do something like that, but for my first video like this, I wanted to just stick to three. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single week and next week i will be having a full face of flower beauty that is supposed to come in the mail any day now so if you're interested in that then just stay tuned for next week but yeah i'll see you guys next time